first. Just from what you guys saw in the video, can y'all give me some of the habits you saw first of all? Macy? Be proactive. Be proactive. What do you think that means? Um, like, good stuff done. Okay. <laughs> Thinking maps in the past, but I wanted somebody to reiterate what the tree map is for and why we use it. Amy? Tree maps are for classifying. So I want everybody to take out the piece of paper and pencil that I set out on everybody's desk, and we're going to set up your tree map. So at the top, where you see that top line on our poster, I want you to write seven habits of highly effective teens. As we go along, you'll fill in underneath each line. So well, after you, you'll write the name right here, like habit one, and I'll tell you what the name is later. And then you'll do one, two. First three. habit is be proactive, and I'm going to need one volunteer. Andrew, do you want to come up to the front? I want you to come up and stand right here in front of this table with your back to me. Do not turn around until I tell you you can. What do you think I'm doing right behind your head right now? Shaking a plastic container. Shaking a plastic container? Like a bottle. Like a bottle? Okay. You're right on track. So don't turn around. I am shaking a water bottle and a Coke bottle behind you right now. I want you to pick left or right. Left. Left? Okay. Now, you have to open the bottle that you picked. You don't have a choice. Okay? Ready? One, two, three, go. Very good. Do you guys think of what the water and the coke might symbolize in real life? Decisions you may have to make. Decisions you may have to make. Andrew? Anger. Anger? Very good. When situations in life get shaky or you get stressed out or something like that, do you want to be more like the coke that explodes or like the water? Water. The water. Why? Because it's soothing and it doesn't explode. Okay. So when I open the water, it's not going to explode all over me like the coke exploded all over him, right? Okay. So when things get rough and you get stressed out, try to remember to be like the water. When you're like the water, you're calm, cool, and collected. You're not going to freak out. And you're probably going to get better results that way. If you're like these boxes... Don't touch them until I tell you to. Don't mess with the paper. Don't do anything. There's a lot of little pieces. <laughs> They're way too small to deal with. Yeah. Okay, so what's your first strategy? Color. Turn them over. Okay, Get all too. of the edges. Yeah. Okay. So what was your first reaction when you opened the puzzle? Well, uh, I honestly expected this to be like really big pieces. So it was yeah. kind of like, well, what the heck? <laughs> so was it frustrating not being able to see the picture on the front of the box? Yes. yes. Can somebody tell me why? Andrew? Because you couldn't figure out how to put a piece of puzzle together because you couldn't see the pictures. So in life, you might be given a project by your boss or sometimes maybe your teacher now where they don't tell you how they want the end result to be, but you have to think of it yourself, which is kind of what we did with these puzzle pieces. Came out, I want you to think of three instances, maybe something that you've already had experience with, where you haven't seen the end or know what the end is going to be, and you have a picture. Let's put first things first, and I'm going to need one volunteer to come up here. Oksana. Okay. This is my favorite habit, uh, just to let you guys know. <laughs> is it the rock? Yes, this involves my rock pile. So I'm going to have you stand over here next to me. Uh, I'm just going to show everybody what these big rocks say. The first one says English, which represents like your classes, stuff like that. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, anything social media. Church. Friends. My challenge to you is to fit all of these big rocks into this bowl of little pebbles. All of them? All of them. Okay. Inside. I do not want them to come past this line. have a way to help Oksana? Maria. You could probably take the pebbles out like and then it would make more room for it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so why do they fit now? 
because all of the pebbles are gone. Little pebbles in our so what do you think that the pebbles represent? Just little things in life, like maybe problems that are they're too small for you to like have them all put on you so you can make room for everything. Else. Okay, exactly. These little pebbles are the little stressors that we flip out over. Like maybe you're having a bad day with your hair or you can't find the right outfit or even your pencil breaks during class and it's just really stressful, okay? <laughs> Those are the things that you don't need to worry about because they're probably not even going to matter the next day. But your friends, your grades, your church, anything like that, that is going to matter. So when you take out the little stresses in your life that you don't need to focus on, like a bad hair day, then you have time to focus on what really matters and put first things. So go ahead and blow up your balloon, tie it at the end so that it doesn't lose air, and then I'm going to... Are you okay? It smells and tastes awful. <laughs> okay. I'm going to give you guys a piece of yarn. I want you to tie the yarn around the balloon as well as around your ankle. In order to win this game, you have to have a blown up balloon tied around your ankle at the end of the game, and whoever does gets to pick out of this candy. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Andrew right away go after everybody's balloon. Why? I really want candy. Really want a candy. But then I saw Oksana, and Meredith some of the time kind of stood off to the side. Oksana, why'd you do that? Um, because, like, with your directions, I felt like we could all win. Just what did I say that gave you that impression? Keep your balloon. Not pop. <laughs> okay, close. Don't, yeah, don't pop your balloon. Right, my instructions were that at the end of the game, if you had a blown up balloon around your ankle, you want a piece of candy. I never said just one person had to have a balloon. And that's what the point of this exercise is. This is called think win-win. Not everything in life, life has to be a win-lose situation. In order to get a better job or get a promotion or get a bonus maybe when you're out in the field eventually, you know, it's not gonna be you just by yourself working. You're gonna have to have a team of people that are helping you get to where you are. I'm gonna hold them up, and I just want you guys to shout out answers of the kind of person you would see wearing each specific shoe, what they might look like, the job they might do, maybe what age they're in, anything like that. Just go ahead and shout answers. it out. Uh, what were we just doing in that activity? I'm looking for one specific word. Stereotyping. Stereotyping, very good. We were judging, but I was specifically looking for stereotyping. Now, can you think of somebody in this school that would wear this shoe and this shoe? Because a lot of you guys said this would be belong to a businessman, and this one would be belong to somebody like a construction worker. Superman? Yes. Okay. Our own principal, he wears these while he's at work, right? He's a businessman. He dresses up every day. But why would he wear these outside of school? Do you know? He likes riding motorcycles. Yes. He rides a Harley. On your tree map, I want you guys to give me three examples where it might be beneficial to you to seek first to understand, then be understood. puzzle groups, I want you guys to go around and say activities that you've done that you think is unique just to you, that you think nobody else in the group has done. And if you are the only person in the group that has a, that has done that activity or been to a certain place, then you get a piece of candy. If somebody else... Well, I got this piece um, because I went to Japan last summer. Japan, that's cool. Even though synergize means working together, what would happen if you just had a huge group of people that were all the same? Would you get very far? No. Why? Right, different experiences, different ideas. So when you beginning video, what are some ways that you can sharpen your saw in real life? Because I know most of you are probably not one rich Read books. Read books. Why does that sharpen the mind? Because if you come across a word that you don't know, you could keep it in your mind and look it up later. So it expands your vocabulary? Now that you fill out your tree map and you have all your examples, Go ahead and circle the habit that you learned the biggest lesson from or was your favorite. And then I want you to write just maybe one sentence at the bottom, how it's going to help you in your own life, maybe in school or at work. Win. Okay. And what did you write and why is it your favorite? I wrote that I chose this habit because I realized that it's not all just about me. I can benefit from others benefiting.